Hello YouTube fam, it has been a minute. <laughs> I think it's been a few weeks since I've posted here and uh, I was feeling the call today to jump back on and share a new video with you all about the different types of authorities you can have as a generator. Now in human design, there are four energy types and these four energy types, they're all equivalent. None of them are better or worse. A generator isn't better than a manifester and isn't less than a projector. We all have a unique role that we play out in this synarchy of life. And we all have a certain position in which when we play it to our fullest tilt, when we play it to our fullest expression, we then contribute to this whole collective rising, this whole collective operation of being a human on this planet. <laughs> so if you're a generator, you're part of that 70% of the population that is here to know the truth of your energy and what you have the available energy for. If you think of even taking it to a very literal symbolism, a generator that's outside of a business or a home or a workspace or a skyscraper, you have a generator. A resource of energy that's pumping fuel, that's pumping electricity into an establishment to bring it life, to bring it potential for something to be created, for something to exist. Now, as a generator, this is your sacred role on this planet to find that energy resource within yourself and then to allow that to extend out to the world around you and the people around you. But the trick for this is, it's not even a trick actually, it's just the necessity is that you are tapping into energy that is renewable. <laughs> Think of the state of this planet, right? And this can actually be really reflected in our own internal sustainability when we look at the sustainability of the planet. If we're tapping into fuel sources that are not renewable and that are depleting the earth, we're actually getting a temporary gain, but a long-term loss, like fossil fuels or digging up the planet and mining all of these precious minerals and stones. It's not healthy long-term. And the same is for you as a generator. If you're going into these reserves of your energy that are not renewable and you're forcing something out of you that actually wants to stay within you, this is going to deplete you and it's going to really exhaust your energy long term. So the goal and the strategy as a generator is to really discover within yourself, how do I tap into my renewable resources? What is it within me that when I utilize it, when I call upon these parts of myself, I actually become more energized, like the sun, right? Solar panels. They take in the sunlight and then they create more energy that can allow for more sunlight to come down on the planet because we're, we're being sustainable, we're being conscious, we're using what is renewable or water power or wind power. So you can frame it this way in your mind and in your being as a generator. What parts of me are renewable? And this is the beauty of the sacral center. It's a renewable source of energy. It's, the sacral center is... I'll flash a picture here. It's the second center up from the bottom on the body graph chart. And this is the center that links to the sacral chakra in the Indian chakric system. And it's the center of life force, reproductive energy, sexual energy, creative energy, the energy of nature. It's the force that causes a flower to blossom in the spring and a baby to start coming down through the womb and the birth canal. It's this renewable source of energy that is working on its own cyclical timing, on its own natural cue, on its own natural rhythm. So a way that you can start to see yourself if you are a generator is that you are a part of nature. I mean, we all are. All of the types are part of nature. But generators more so than projectors, manifestors, and reflectors are really tuned into this rhythm of what is it to birth energy naturally and organically through the body. And we can't force that. We can't go mining our own precious oils and our own precious gems in order to just be efficient or to be valuable and to give because our deepest value is going to come when we tap into those places in us that are infinitely available. So how do you get there? <laughs> Let's talk about the different types of authorities that you can have as a generator. Now the first authority is the sacral authority. If you're a generator with sacral authority, this is going to make you a pure generator. And it's called a pure generator because there is nothing diluting that current of sacral energy flowing through your body giving you the indicator of when something is right for you or wrong for you. This is my authority. I'm a pure generator. So I can speak to this one with personal examples and um, like five years of really observing this pattern in myself. It doesn't always make sense and it's not always going to be logical. The sacral center is not biased. It doesn't have a moral or an ethical standpoint. But if the mind starts getting in the way or the thoughts or 
the emotions, if you're a pure generator, start getting in the way, this can dilute that sacral energy and that sacral authority. But what it really is, is this resonant mechanical response from the body of uh-huh or uh-uh. It's very clear and it's very in the moment, but it can be challenging to trust that. Because depending on your conditioning that you've carried from this lifetime, different ideas and mentalities that you've adopted, belief systems, parenting patterns, um, it can feel like, well, if I've got this abundance of energy, and this is something from my own personal story, if I've got this abundance of energy, then I guess I'm kind of obliged to do what this person needs because I want to be supportive, I want to be helpful, I want to contribute, and I know that a deep theme of my life is satisfaction, so why don't I do something that makes this other person satisfied? But the trick here is to not get yourself in those patterns, and I've had to learn this the hard way, and it's, it's gotten better over the last couple of years, but giving yourself the permission as a pure generator to remember that I could have an abundance of energy and no plans for the day. And if someone invites me to do something or help them in some way, then my gut is saying like, uh-uh, I don't want to do that. You don't have to do it. You're not obliged to do things that you don't want to do. Um, but this can be a pattern that crops up if you have attachment to wanting to people please, which is a very strong theme for generators. Um, it can feel more easeful to make someone else happy than to fully claim your own happiness and your own satisfaction. It's quite a bold move to do that. But if you are a generator with sacral authority, you're really here to be in touch with the depth of your body from moment to moment. And some real life examples I'm having are um, getting so clear recently on places that I have said, uh-huh, from my mind. Like I've really had to shut down my body and say, no, it's not okay to want that. It's not okay to do this. You have to do this because then long term, this is going to be better and da 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 and all of these things. And it's like, oh shit, Kelly, that didn't work out. Um, and I'm getting so many lessons around the importance of honoring that gut response as it's there and trusting it. Because if you can't trust yourself and your own body, it's going to be very hard to trust anyone else. So this is another key theme for you as a sacral generator is to... Um, really listen to your gut, listen to your body. And this may mean that you need to take a lot of time alone to really feel what you feel. Do practices that drop you into your body. Um, sexual practices, dancing, meditation, yoga, all with yourself to really get in touch with what is my body like and what is my body not like? Because if you don't know what your body likes and doesn't like, you're just going to be looking for everyone else to give you the answer. And that's going to get you in some tricky positions, as I have definitely seen for myself. Now, if you feel called to dive deeper on this journey, I love personally working with generators. I offer human design readings that go into 11 key aspects of your chart, as well as my own personal intuitive insights that come through while I'm connecting with your chart. I also offer mentoring packages. If you are ready to go on a journey of really exploring and integrating and embodying your deepest truths, finding your satisfaction and being supported in a present loving container to really catalyze into your truth. So you can check out all of those offerings below. I would love to work with you. And until then, I'll see you on the next video. Enjoy being your juicy generator self.